Hey everyone, we're back again with this week's Clarity Clip, and we are again in the showroom of Platinum Motor Cars. I'm here with my friend Benny Black, who owns Platinum Motor Cars. You guys probably see him. He's in all the magazines, TV, stage. He's big time. He rolls big in Dallas. But we're in front of a GTC, one of my favorites, and we're talking about performance. And we wanted to talk to Benny because Benny is a small business owner and has been hustling his whole life as a businessman. Wanted to talk a little bit about kind of how you look at performance. When you think about high performance cars and you get all of them, mm -hmm. you get to drive them all. Think about some of the, the performance of, of a vehicle and some of these high performance cars and how it applies to business. Like what are some of the things you do to test yourself when it comes to how you're performing in your business? Well, um, thanks for getting here by the way. Absolutely. Uh, in my situation, there, there's a lot of variables that you really got to use on that. Uh, I speak to my clients, number one, because the dollar amount that I ask for my vehicle for somebody to come play in, it's not cheap. Right. So what I have to gauge is the vehicles that I'm getting. You mean I can't rent this for 75 bucks a day? No, not that one. <laughs> not that one. <laughs> so I've got to gauge to them the certain types of vehicles that they'll pay that type of money for. Because mm -hmm. in my business, you'll get calls where somebody say, hey, do you have this? Well, then you have to explain to them, well, that's not a car somebody will actually pay to rent. Right. So that kind of throws people off when they hear that type of a statement. And so from there, besides the type of vehicles, then I have to do my social media. A lot of people think that that's the new game, and it is to a certain extent. But again, you also have to engage your social media people that are watching behind you. Sure. Because not every big money guy is playing on Facebook and Instagram right. and stuff like that. So with mine, I really kind of got to delve in a little deeper, respond even more to see, am I pulling anything from social media? So mine's still kind of a guessing game, but I can see the looks and the visibility rising just from social media. Absolutely. So if you heard what he just said, folks, is he talks just about what Robert and I always talk about is the audience speak. Benny has to know his audience, mm -hmm. and you have to know what language to speak to your audience. Exactly. You can't talk to the big money guys the same way as you talk to a low money guy. And because of that, and you also heard him talk about how he understands where his audience is. So some of your audience requires a phone call yes, sir. and one-on-one -on -one service. Other requires a post on Facebook. So talk a little bit about that. How do you differentiate those, and how do you go through that process? You know, we call it a map. How do you kind of think through like, okay, so I'm going to take this market, which is my big money guys that they want the big high end cars. And then I have this mid-level market. Tell me a little bit about how you, how well, you work it, through some I of those. I like how you already have delved into it because I actually wrote mine to different demographics. I've got, and a lot of people may not have this, I've got my athletic demographic, which is my pros. Makes sense. Uh, my business guys that come in and need a certain look when they're coming in entertaining. Sure. sure. And then I got those just my leisure guys. Uh, birthdays or a birthdays, wife wants to do it for get out, sure, step sure. out in Dallas and when you can go across all those three different types of revenues that you're bringing and then moms I oh yeah cannot ever <laughs> discount moms because what a lot of people don't realize the majority of my clientele are men but what I tell people somewhere down the line a hundred percent of the vehicle that you chose there's a woman involved oh absolutely so in that called I'm, marriage <laughs> 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 and so with that, it's easier to understand that one of the things that you've got to be able to do is social media for my Instagram where you can reach direct. That's where I really use my athletes because on the Instagram side, pictures do most of my talking. Sure. But I also, with my business, I give it a, uh, a personality. I guess Absolutely. You say, That's your brand. Because I think that with most dealers and car guys, it's just, okay, there's big box and there it is. With mine, I want to, I, I give it a personality and attitude, especially with my You're taking it to the next level. Yes. Yeah. Because what I'll do is, especially on Instagram or Facebook, I can hit you with what I think really makes people make a move is your ego. And that's what you're getting when you're, when you're playing in, in my world and in my business. It's ego driven. Sure. And I think Instagram helps push egos out there. Well, and all the athletes are on Instagram. Yes. I mean, that's kind of where they live now, right? Exactly. You're in that 26, 27 year old demo making a lot of money. They're playing on Instagram. And that's the thing. And as a business owner, you've got to be smart enough to understand where to go into that gate. I'm 45. I have no reason to even play on most of these social media things. But what I do understand is that's the easiest way to that's get That's where you target that audience. Exactly. Right. Facebook a little different. It's a little older crowd because, as you know, every kid is saying, I'm not getting on there because mom's on there. <laughs> but, again, what I like about Facebook, with the moms being on there, it gives them ideas. Mm -hmm. And Facebook, is, it can tell stories, and it makes you, as I've heard people say, Facebook, you live out a life that you normally don't really have. Absolutely, that's <laughs> what it is. Back to ego. Exactly. We're back to ego. So I can twist that with Facebook. And then lastly, email. 
Uh, surprisingly, I still do email uh, contact. Mm -hmm. I can which, see where that would work very well for you. And it still does. Sure. Uh, it's not as effective as apps or phones, which is where we're moving to now because everything's going digital. But those are my three mediums across that I try to utilize the most. And I think, again, what you heard, folks, is that Benny talks to each one of his target markets differently in different locations, a different manner, in a different way. Flash. Ego, fun, check this car out, look at the rims. There you go. That's all Instagram athletes, That's right? It. Then the moms and the upper level guys, hey, let's roll big out in Dallas. Here's what you need to do to show off. Or, exactly. Hey, if you've got a big business client or whatever, that's an email system or whatever. So I hope what you guys have heard is that this is exactly what we're talking about when we talk about our map system, when we talk about audience speak, which is you better, number one, know your audience. Mm -hmm. You better, number two, know who you are right? Exactly. Who your brand is and what you're about and then how to talk to that audience in the right audience speak. So, yes, man, you. I really appreciate your time, oh, bud. Man. I love this guy. He's a great guy. If you guys need a hot car to just cruise around Dallas one night or you got a big client coming in, call Benny over Platinum Motor Cars, man. He'll help you out. Come it's clear to clip. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you guys.